Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm an author of many books about how to draw. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you some ways, a simple, you know, kind of construction for how to make a profile face. And this is uh, a lot of the, a lot of techniques are in my new book called Figure It Out, Faces and Expressions. I'm going to show you some of those today. So a lot of times you start with all sorts of circles and this and squares and triangles. I think let's just start with a straight line for the profile. And we do that because we're going to modify it as we go along. So we don't need to be exactly right in the beginning. So here it is. And we're going to draw kind of the back of the head. Just, just replacement. We can change it as we go so it doesn't have to be perfect. But you notice that is, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of back of the head behind the ear. All right, now we're going to have kind of a slanted, tilted line here. And that's the jaw. This is the angle of the jaw. And this goes right here under the chin. So already it's starting to look like something. And I'll make it darker as we go along. I'll build this out a little bit more. And the back of the neck doesn't come here. The back of the neck comes here. Like this. And you leave a little bit of chin out here and bring the other part of the neck this way. So this protrudes a little bit. So we're already starting to make some progress. Now that is way too sharp. Too sharp. Ouch! It's too sharp an angle. So let's, let's modify that a little, make a little curve like that. And see this, let's go about halfway up, right here, halfway up. That's, that's kind of where the eye line goes, about halfway between the top of the head and the bottom. You don't have to be exact, but that's about where it is. So let's put an eye right there. Now will bring it back from the edge. That's a common mistake I see sometimes. People put the eye right near the edge. It, it comes back, it's recessed. And it's also a little shorter than it is in the front view because it's to the side. The eye is slightly tilted this way. You see that? The eyeball, the pupil, slightly this way. And so we won't finish it. We'll just leave it like that to begin. And nice eyebrow up here. And that goes slightly in front of the eye. The, eye always, the eyebrow goes in front of the eye and a little bit behind the eye. And that's at all angles. Okay, with me? Good. Now watch what we do here. This forehead slopes outward, okay? It slopes a little outward and then comes in, like this, right here at the eye. And you can see that on yourself. It's not just straight down or straight this way. Now, the bridge of the nose is right where the eye is. So that's the bridge of the nose, right here. Maybe even a little above. Come out this way. And then, let's just bring it in back, make sure it's out far enough, but not too far. It's kind of like a, you got to just kind of eyeball it, see how it looks to you. And then this is the face plate, but we're going to adjust this now. This is sort of like just our basic template. We'll bring the lips out a little bit, upper lip, comes down a little, and generally a relaxed look. Let's bring that nostril back. The nostril goes behind the face plate here. And the bottom lip is under his back. So this is, this is recessed from the top lip. You see that? Bring this in. And we're going to make the chin a little longer because I made that a little too narrow. So that's okay. And bring it down into here. Like that. See, it's coming together. These are because you, once you know the different aspects of the elements, you can do it. You just have to know what to look for. Otherwise, you're just, you know, you're guessing. You're, you're spending your energy guessing where things go rather than making it creative. All right, so I'm going to bring the jawline a little closer. It's a little too far back because the ear is going to go where? Eyebrow to no, bottom of the nose. That is where it goes. That is the height of the ear on the face. And so I made even... Shave a little more off there. There's the angle of the jaw again. Yeah, that's looking better. See, look how many times I just nudge it this way, nudge it that way to get it to look how I want. And you can do the same thing. I know a lot of people hate to erase. I, I like to erase. That's, I mean, to me, that's, that's part of what this is all about, trying to get it to look the way you want. You can't always get it in the first try. Some artists do. It's wonderful if you can, but there, there's, really, there's really no reason why you need to. 
Okay, so here, now we're gonna bring the back of the head down here with a little bit of hair. And the hair doesn't come straight to the jawline, it kinda brushes back like this. We'll bring this up in front a little bit. And by the way, we have a little bit of an indentation here from the forehead. And that goes around here. It actually has a name. It's called the temporal ridge. It's kind of the ridge of the head, and it always intersects right here where the eyebrow goes down. That's what causes it to go down. This is another plane. It goes back here, and it's kind of pulled over the temporal ridge, and it goes down like that. Okay, so let's bring it in here and bring the sideburn like this and fluff it up a little bit. The hair adds a little bit of height to the general look. I will bring this back a little more, a little thickness, a little shadow under the jaw, because light comes from above, hits it like this, and since that's the case, we're gonna put a little more shadow here, just under the eyebrow, bring it like this. Just a few simple things, and a little bit of definition right here. You can add a little bit of jaw, uh, you know, a cheekbone if you want, but just a little bit. And here, let's go in a little bit and just basically contour out that uh, ear. Here is something called the tragus, that little flap you all know about. And here's the anti-tragus, the smaller tragus. I'm glad they didn't think of another tragus because that would have to be the anti-anti-tragus and everyone would get annoyed. Okay, here we go. And I will just add a little bit of shadow here, shading. And a little bit of definition here, a little bit more, and a little shading under the eyelid, just to make him look a little more relaxed. Okay, so those are some basics you can use on any uh, character for a profile. I hope you liked it. Again, my book is called Figure It Out, Faces and Expressions. I hope you'll, you'll get it. And thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.